Hi everybody! It's me! No, I didn't forget about you. I was kind of um, trying to find out about me. I am really in a strange place. Um, for those of you who are new, I'm Sunny. I don't know who else would be on my channels called Sunny Rudder, but <laughs> just to officially let you know, I'm Sunny. So, uh, yeah, you know, I think that YouTube people across the board have been struggling lately to try to think of what is good content for their viewers. And I was struggling. I just, I felt like it was all so boring, you know? Don't show me Hawaii anymore. Don't show me cooking anymore. Don't sit there and just talk to me anymore it's all been said and done but then I realized that one of my favorite youtubers that I always watch she has a life like mine that's pretty much the same all the time and uh, she does a lot more stuff than I do but uh, it's still all the same stuff so, and I know how we enjoy watching her. Shout out to Sharon. Sharon Lee. Okay, so I decided I'm just going to give it a go. You know, I thought, do what you like, Sonny. And what do I like to do best? Probably I like to cook best. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I have all of my stuff prepped. We're going to try a new recipe for chicken enchiladas. I tasted these chicken enchiladas at Alberta's house. Um, her uh, granddaughter, Treasure, had found it um, on YouTube, and she tried it, and she loved it. And I kind of, I know it sounds like strange out of my mouth, but I'm a little picky when it comes to food. I expect stuff to taste really great. And... Um, I tasted a warmed up leftover one of these and my mind was exploding. It was so delicious. So um, I'm going to make them tonight for Dennis and I. Now you uh, start with a rotisserie chicken from Costco. That's the cheapest place to get it. And yesterday um, I took my, and you want to take it while it's warm and take the skin off and shred it up. Because if you don't shred it up while it's warm, you're going to have to cut it if it's cold, okay? So this, now the guy had said use mostly, use only the chicken breast. But look at all this white meat. See? Um, there is very little dark meat at all. There was very little. So I thought, well, it'll add flavor. And um, it... It all, I mixed in the shredded dark meat. There's very little bit. So what you do is you take, now he had said two cups, but then when I looked at the um, ingredients list, it said three cups. So now um, I'm not using, I just finished washing my hands out in the kitchen. I'm not gonna use um, um, latex gloves today. Because this is just for Dennis and I. If I was cooking for company or at a restaurant, that's one thing. I would put those latex gloves on. But I'm not sick and I've got clean hands. So it's just like when you cook for your family. So there's one cup into my bowl. Uh, let's fill that second cup up. Second cup full. And he's called for three cups, so three cups. I think this is going to be too much for us, but I will see. What's the worst that could happen, right? I could just put the leftover stuff in the fridge and, um, or even in the freezer and then make it another time. So here is what approximately three cups looks like, all right? Now you're going to also need a green salsa, okay? And it called for one cup of that. 
So let's pour one cup in. Bachi has decided that even though she should be long over her, I'm putting a scant because I don't want it to be too wet. Uh, she should be over her hysterical pregnancy and stop her growling. But as you can probably hear in the background, she's growling at Elle, her mother. Her poor mother is going in for surgery, oral surgery on uh, the 9th. And uh, yeah, there goes a couple thousand right there. But you got to do what you got to do for your babies, right? Now, if it was uh, something like cancer where you were going to have to put her through horrible surgeries and chemo and yada, 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 and it was going to cost you five, ten, fifteen thousand, that's when you got to figure out if you're really going to put your baby through all that. Um, but as far as just taking her teeth out, is as much as I don't want her to be in that pain, uh, I think she live a very happy life after that without her teeth. So, okay, and then it called for now. It called for a whole can, small can of those dice green chilies. You see that? That's a whole can. That looks like an awful lot to me. I'm thinking I'm gonna put half a can. So now after Dennis and I taste these tonight, I'll have to give you an update and let you know how these turned out, okay? All I know is Treasures was fabulous. Now what this is, is the um, red, uh, now wait, something in adobo sauce. Chili, chili peppers in adobo sauce. And it comes in a small can, and it said one tablespoon, or if you like it, things really hot, two tablespoons. So translation, Adam, about four tablespoons for you. <laughs> so I took the seeds out. They, they came in the can whole. So I took out two peppers, and I took the seeds out. They smell really spicy, but they also smell almost like a barbecue sauce. And it smells really delicious. Spicy, but delicious. Now, you know, those two peppers, when I diced them up, look, it's just a little over a tablespoon. I do have a little bit more left right there. I don't know, should I leave it on the paper plate and throw it away? I hear Adam in the background saying, put it in, put it in. Okay, Adam, I'm going to put it in. This is for Adam. And if I'm screaming bloody murder. So it's, I'm going to use a kind of a heaping tablespoon, okay? Okay. Wait. Heaping tablespoon. Going to throw that in. And I think that that's all you put into your chicken. I should have probably, um, and now I'm going to just stir, okay? Let's stir it. I'm stirring. So, I hope you'll leave me a note below and let me know how life has been treating you lately. Um, we're going through some trauma in my family. Um, when I was a girl, um, on my dad's side, oh, the, they had a big family. And I loved them all dearly. But the littlest boy was named Ted, or I called him Teddy. Because he was my teddy bear. He was very happy-go-lucky very sweet and um, yeah so he was my little teddy bear and um, right now I need your prayers for him because he's got a brain tumor and uh, they can't take it out um, because it's in a dangerous place and it's uh, pressing too much on things that uh, would be too devastating if they take it out 
So um, fortunately for us, though, they b do believe it's um, benign. So uh, the problem is it's causing some fluids to be retained. Up, so he's got like encephalitis on his head and his brain. And um, yeah, so, so this looks kind of moist, see? So if you could say a little prayer and send him some good energy, um, they're probably going to put a shunt in so that they can relieve the pressure and the fluids from on his brain right now. And, um, yeah, and there's some other stresses going on in my family that I really am not at liberty to talk about. It's like, um, anyhow, um, so, yeah, I'm being kind of stressed. And, uh, trying to do my best not to be. Okay, so we've got the flour, you use flour tortillas in this. And now you use Monterey Jack cheese, and I've taken... Eight ounces of Monterey Jack cheese, and I shredded it, okay? And I'm wondering, I think that's plenty spicy enough. So, um, you need flour tortillas, and you need heavy whipping cream. Go figure. Okay, so, you take your pan, But she's just gurring away. Her poor, excuse me, got the hiccups. Her poor mother, she's constantly being growled up by Bachi. So anyhow, after we get recuperated from uh, Elle's um, stuff. Oh, it's so hard to open this. Oh, come on. Oh, there it goes. So he says you take and you pour just a little bit in the bottom like this. Now have your oven preheated to 350. Now he had one step that you can do if you want to. Um, Trisha said the first time I think she did it with chicken broth. The second time she didn't have chicken broth and she did it with water. And then after that she decided that she didn't really need that extra moistness. And you'll see why. So I'm going to skip the dipping into uh, chicken broth. If you have tortillas that start to break up when you go to roll them, then you would want to dip them. If they're kind of dry and brittle, definitely dip them. You just slide them in for five seconds, slide them out. Um, okay, so I'm going to probably take this away from my face and aim it down so you can watch how you're going to do this, okay? Let me pause. Okay, so I've got you turned around, and you can see my flour tortilla on my cutting boards here. And you basically... Just take some of this, okay, let's be generous, okay, so we're going to take some of this and pretty much squish it towards the end of one side, like this, all the way across, and then you take this. I'm going to turn this around. And you try to roll it as tight as you can. Like a cigar. Not that I've ever rolled a cigar. I wouldn't know that. <laughs> but just roll it nice and tight. And you're going to put it seam side down in the heavy cream. Okay? Well, that was easy enough. Heavens. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Okay, so let's just continue on our journey, why don't we? Uh-oh, dropped a piece of chicken. So, I think I'm going to just use my hands. Pardonnez-moi. So let's do this. Oh yeah, that chicken is very moist from the moisture in the green chilies, okay? So I can see that 
it is very easy to roll but you know if you were thinking that your flour tortillas were a little stale I would see where that I would definitely dip them into the chicken broth uh, try to use uh, low salt or no salt chicken broth because all of this is going to have a lot of salt anyhow with all of the cheese okay so let's just continue on so this is really fun I need to turn this because that was kind of an odd shaped tortilla if you've uh, recently cooked any new recipes that you never used before and they turned out really well you should uh, leave your comments in the below um, also, I need to tell you guys, um, if you give me a thumbs up on the videos, I just was, I just found out recently that what happens is the, uh, the logarithms, no, something rhythms, <laughs> the something rhythms of, uh, YouTube's, um, servers algorithms algorithms then um, the more thumbs up then the more uh, um, people will be exposed people that uh, have never seen our videos before um, they'll be exposed to it and they might come and join us so soon if we get 4,000 video watch hours soon I can apply to be a real youtuber I'm like a baby YouTuber right now. Okay. So, I wonder how many of these I'm going to get out of this. If you have a big family, I think you should do a double or a triple. Because don't you think that each person is probably going to eat at least two, if not three of these? Now, Adam. Adam's probably going to eat four. Dennis would probably eat four if I let him. Okay. I'm going to serve this with refried beans that has cheese melted on top. And um, a, a little side salad. There's a small dog out front, downstairs, having a very not happy time. They're getting ready to, for the first time in many long years, uh, completely redo our uh, condos, paint jobs. See, this is not hard at all. It's definitely not rocket science, okay? Just put, set them down here in this cream. And I'm going to get one more, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to have three each. And what am I going to do with the leftover chicken? I would think that you'd be able to mix the leftover chicken and all the spices in um, like a pasta, a pasta dish, and make it like a casserole and um, just bake it. So, I hope you're getting really good view of how I'm doing this. It's very easy. I'm surprised because I have never done this before. Okay. So now what you do is you put some of this Monterey Jack cheese. Pile a bunch of that in there. Oh, that's a little bit too much. I'm going to have to put this in the refrigerator. It's melting very quickly. You want to have your oven at 350 degrees, okay? And there we go. I think that looks to be about correct. And then you pour more whipping cream on, okay? 
and down the sides. And kind of on top, okay? What the heck? Let's put the rest of it. Okay. So there you have it. Cheesy chicken enchiladas. You're going to bake it at 350 for about 35 minutes or until it's lightly brown, okay? Now, he served it, once he took it out, he served it with a chorizo cream drizzle on top. And um, that's the one that I was saying that I am going to keep it on the side. Um, and I will show you how we make that in a minute. Please hold. I'm going to go turn on my oven. I'm going to bake this ahead of time. And uh, I will. Okay, we're coming back. And I'm going to show you if I can get it set up just right. There we go. Okay. That's my burner. That's my burner. Chorizo, pork raw pork chorizo, okay? He used the whole container. I am not going to. Okay. You should be back. Ah, I see where the thing is. So let me stand up again and see what we got going on here. This is difficult to do it by myself. Okay. There we go. That better? Yeah, that's better. Okay. So, let's open this. I also brought me a snack. I like these. I don't know how you say it, but that, that stuff. Uh, and it's key lime. Okay, so I'm going to have the little snack while I'm working on this. The enchiladas are in the oven. So, I'm going to open this and cut open the casing. Good thing I've got my wet wipes and my paper towels handy. So, I'm going to take only a small amount. I'm going to take about that much and put squeeze it in the put a big blob now I'm betting that Adam will enjoy this to the max this is a spicy meatball and I'm going to tuck this away I might fry a little bit up to add to cooked potato, diced cooked potato, and um, refried beans, and just the ever so tiny amount of scrambled eggs. Because when my husband and I first got married, the Mexican restaurant that was next to our apartments in um, San Antonio, okay, you're going to cook this on medium. And we're going to kind of stir it around. You can see some splotches on my um, my burner because I was making pasta a day ago and it kind of overflowed. And right while it was hot, I picked up the pan and wiped it with a paper towel. And you can do that with a... Uh, and, uh, induction top but can't do that with anything else now we're going to cook it and keep smooshing it around and he said when it's done in about six minutes um it's going to look pretty much the same as this so oops we're going to just stir it around it smells very spicy 
So what, after we cook it for six minutes, then we're going to add more cream and stir it, stir it, stir it. Now he says this is so delicious that he makes a big bunch of this and he keeps it in, uh, in his fridge and then he can just warm it up. Of course, he, like so many people, uses the microwaves. I don't use the microwave. So look at this. I'm going to put it on pause. Look at just a couple of minutes. It's already getting so like liquidy. Whew, and strong smell too. Wow. Woo, doggy. Okay, let's start it again. So, uh, yeah, and then he just drizzles it on things like scrambled eggs and this and that. So, we will find out if we like it or don't like it. When I tasted the chicken enchilada, I loved it and it didn't have it on. So, um, I'm just going to drizzle it on a little bite and then see. I think medium is too high. I think my induction cooks really fast. So I'm turning it down. I probably should turn here. Let me. I got it on 1300 watts. I'm going to put it down to 900 watts and medium low and start. <laughs> Do you know how many times I have forgotten to push the start button? I'll tell you, it's been quite a few. So we're going to cook it. Then once you put the cream in, you continue to cook it and turn it down to very, very low. And then you just let it simmer for a little while. I'll link you to his uh, videos. And you can watch him too. Now I know that everybody's time is valuable. And you can't be watching everybody. So I heard somebody, one YouTuber say they don't like to share their viewers with other YouTube channels because then their um, viewers are not going to spend so much time at their channel. And I thought, well, that's not true. They're going to just spend more time on the YouTubes. <laughs> I know from experience. Sometimes I got my head in the YouTubes too much. And I know that. But that's my form of TV. I do not watch TV except for live PD. And soon, starting in April, they're going to have uh, a show similar to live PD only. It's also going to include uh, all rescues like EMS, fire. I have to give a shout out to my friend Jaylene. She always dreamed of being a police officer, and uh, she graduated from the academy, and she's going through her, like, uh, beginning stages. I'm going to lower this even more. And she is living her dream, and I'm so proud of her. And she's just beautiful in her uniform. I always knew she could do it. Okay, so I would say that's done. So I'm going to add the cream, heavy whipping cream, some more. He used like a cup and a half for a whole tube of chorizo. But I don't think we need to have a, a cup and a half for this little dab of chorizo. So anyhow, we're going to stir this and bring it back up to a heat, and then we'll turn it back down. Now, I would not be adding any salt or pepper to any of this. It's going to be salty enough. I was looking for cans of refried beans. I would love to um, make that my next goal in life is to conquer making homemade refried beans to where they taste like when you get them at the authentic Mexican restaurants. Um, anyhow, uh, so salty, the cans of refried beans. So we're going to just let this cook down a little bit. And he said you should get some bubbles around the edges. And just stir it periodically 
and then let it get thick. There's come some bubbles. Can you see them? So we're going to just let that thicken up a little bit. And I will finish this off. And then I will see you on the other side. <laughs> Not on the other side. Other side, silly. I'm going to turn it towards my face. Okay, let's let this bubble just a little bit. Maybe put it down 10 degrees. Maybe put it down 10 more degrees. It's cooking at 150 degrees right now. Okay, I'm going to put this on pause and turn the camera around. Down we go. Hi. I'm back. I'm going to have my snack, my yogurt cup. I'm watching the uh, little bubbles in the bottom of the chorizo cream. I'm thinking if this doesn't change in how it tastes after it's cooked, excuse me, got the hiccups again. Well, you missed the blooper. I had uh, was put, uh, moving the uh, tripod around, and you see this glass of water? The foot of the tripod accidentally got into the water. That was funny. <laughs> but the camera wasn't on, so. This is starting to get thick. I kind of tasted a little bit of the chorizo cream off the back of the spoon. I wasn't really impressed. So, you want a bite of key lime pie yogurt? I will share with you. Oh, that's so good. I love key lime pie. I gotta make a, another cheesecake. I've got all the ingredients um, in my air, oh, not the air fryer pressure cooker, the Instapot. So here's the idea. I've made a lemon bar cheesecake and that was good. And I made a regular cheesecake and that was good. But I was thinking something like make a, from scratch German chocolate cake on the bottom and then put cheesecake or try to swirl it or I'm not sure. We should figure it out. If you guys have any good ideas and advice for how I could make it seem kind of like the Cheesecake Factory, you know, my favorite carrot cake that's got kind of swirled the cheesecake all through it. And if you can figure out how I can do that with like a German chocolate cake batter, let me know. So everybody saw on Chatterbox, I hope that our Nicole is having a baby girl, Woo just like I told her. I really had a strong, strong gut feeling about that. Oh, this now, you know what? I should always reserve judgment. This is getting much thicker and it's looking like it probably has a lot more personality, this chorizo cream, than when I tasted it off the back of the spoon. I hope everybody's safe. It's staying away from all of the plagues that are going through the mainland. I see smallpox are being brought in. Uh, smallpox and, sh not chickenpox, measles. T oh, tuberculosis, that's the biggie. Here's how it's looking right now. I'm going to taste it. Mmm. Not too bad.
It's really spicy now. It was really bland when I tasted it before. I think I should stop cooking it. I think it's done. Or in Hawaii we say pow. I think it's pow. Okay. I'm going to turn it off and I'll spoon it into a small bowl and put a cover on it. Yeah, so I hope you guys are staying away from the plagues. Of course, then there's also your general plagues that you guys have got over there, which is like the coughing flu or the throwing up cha-cha-cha flu or you guys got all kinds of stuff. Okay, turned it off. It's nice and thick now. You know what this would actually probably be pretty good on is a baked potato with some sour cream. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that. You know, when I was losing that 240 pounds in the 80s, one of my favorite meals was to have a great big baked potato and put some of my homemade chili on it. Just chili and a little bit of cheese and a little bit of sour cream. Oh, that was really good. Okay. That's smooth. That's spicy. It's the spicy meatball. Now I'm doing Italian accent for something that's Mexican. Ah. I can't fake accents, so I'm not even going to try to do a Mexican accent. And, um... Who did I see that was doing? Uh, oh, it was that uh, husband and wife team that does renovations in Waco. Uh, what's their name? He's kind of got strawberry blonde hair and she's got dark hair. The Gaines, the Gaines family. And uh, he was trying to do, um, I think a British accent. <laughs> it was just cracking me up. I saw that when I was getting my nails painted earlier today. Sorry, I'm having a snack. I was really hungry. The other day, I forgot to eat until it was like 2.30 and then all of a sudden I was starving and I was shaking from low blood sugar. That's not the way to do it. Well, if I had an anteater tongue, I wouldn't stick it in there and lick this all out. When I was a kid, one thing I loved to do, and my mom let me do it. I can't believe my mom let me do it because she was like the epitome of etiquette school. I mean, she made me practice walking straight up. Uh-oh. I got to put you on pause because my oven says that it's done. Yeah, so here it's done. Ooh, look at that. That is so yummy. Okay, I'm going to set that down there. And that looks fabulous. I'm so excited to feed it to Dennis. Ah, so I'll have to let you know. Here's the chorizo cream. <sighs> mm, that's very salty. But you know what? I'm going to try it on a little bite of mine. Ooh, it's kind of spicy. Good thing I have some water. So... Anyhow, uh, what else? I guess that's about all from my part of the world. Leave a comment below and let me know what's going on in your part of the world. And uh, I'm not going to ask for ideas. I think that's, you know, sometimes people, um, what did I get on me? can't take me anywhere. 
So, um, oh, uh, my daughter got a really nice, I think it's 24 foot um, trailer to live in and it is so nice and it's beautiful and what a blessing from God. So anyhow, that's a good news. Now she's just got to find a good place to set it. It's temporarily at her friend's house, but she has to move it by July. So if anybody's in the Bremerton, Washington area and um, knows where a very low cost but good spot to park a uh, trailer, she can have it moved there, um, let me know. So she has that and um, I think that I've covered a lot of stuff. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. And I love you very much, even when I'm absent, I love you very much. And I hope that you know that without me having to tell you. Um, but I do want to start being more consistent. I know I've said that in the past, but you know, I'm really struggling. And I know it's a foreboding word. The foreboding word from the wolf pack is content. But it is an issue, you know? I think there's at times that I see some of the best YouTubers struggling for content. So, and I don't want to put the pressure on you and say, what do you want to see? Because that's not your job. Your job is to put the thumbs up, to share, to subscribe. But mostly your job is to comment and be a part of the family, okay? So I love you guys so much, and I do apologize for being absent. Away without leave, AWOL. I was AWOL. So let me know if you forgive me, okay? Bye. I'll see you again soon. Cross your fingers. Maybe I'm going to put this on, turn this on and show you me making the cheesecake. And like I said, if you can figure out how I can combine the German chocolate cake, with the cheesecake. Once it's cool, I know I'm gonna put like the caramel, coconut, pecan glop that we put on German chocolate cakes, gonna put a little bit of that thin on top. So it's just mostly how do I get the German chocolate cake to be cake-like and kind of, we'll figure this out. Love you, bye.